Hello, uh, Collegian uh, readers. Uh, I'm Drew Ahman, sports editor at the Collegian. This is Marcus Traxler, sports writer slash do whatever I say kind of guy. Uh, we're going to give you a brief preview of the Missouri State football game going on at Coughlin Alumni Stadium tomorrow uh, against the against Missouri State. Now, SDSU lost last week, falling to three and five. The playoff hopes are kind of dashed, so to speak. Uh, that's, that doesn't mean they don't have anything to play for. Uh, you know, they've had winning seasons for the past several years, anyway, that I can remember. So, uh, but a couple keys, I think. Uh, Missouri State scores a ton of points. They also give up a ton of points. Uh, you know, what, what does that kind of mean in terms of game planning with your SDSU for this weekend? Well, uh, Missouri State, you know, their defense gives up a ton of points. They've got a pretty good passing game. Um, so, on the SDSU front, you just got to try to make some stops on defense, force some three and outs early or, or something, and, and the offense has to get going early. Uh, they, they give up a ton of rushing yards as well. That should be a good sign for Kyle Manette tomorrow, and uh, it'll be interesting to see. I don't think there'll be much defense played, but. Yeah, you know, you, we talk about defense, you talk about trying to get stops. That's something that they obviously struggled to get against Indiana State last weekend. Uh, you know, several third and longs just kind of converted. I remember one that was like a third and 18, and they ended up taking it for a touchdown on the next play on a pass play. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, I think it's key for SDSU to, to get pressure on the quarterback. I think that's something in all of their losses that's kind of been a theme. Uh, and then, but then also you talked about Missouri State's defense has struggled, and that obviously bodes well for Manette, but it, it doesn't matter who Manette's played right. this year. He's, you know, he's right. stacked up yards. Uh, Missouri State has a pretty talented quarterback. What's his, is it Kirby? Cody Kirby. Cody yep. Kirby. Uh, he's a senior. Uh, really kind of uh, has experience. Um, and, and, again, quarterbacking is something that's kind of been a struggle uh, for the Jacks defensively. Uh, he's stopping, you know, quarterbacks like Matt Barr and last week with Fouch. Uh, and, it, it, and it'll be interesting to see just how they come out in terms of emotionally. Will there you know, be a lot of spirit? Because, you know, this team's 3-5. and five. Haven't met expectations you know, themselves as well as fans and stuff. But uh, again, uh, the Coughlin Alumni Stadium, they, they play well here. Um, I'm curious to see, you know, Illinois State's obviously a game that they're going to look on at the end of the year and wonder, yeah, we should have won that football game. Uh, yeah, anything else? Maybe? Yeah, I mean, Missouri State 4 0 on the season at home, 0 4 on the road. So uh, certainly advantageous for the Jacks to, to yeah. play well tomorrow. And, and Missouri State has, they've beaten Youngstown. Yep. They have lost to Illinois State. They've lost to, uh, they, I think, I'm not sure. I think they, they beat, beat Western. They beat Western. So, again, this, this on paper, this sounds like a game that's going to come down the wire and have a lot of points just because who they've beaten, who they've lost to, uh, it, it seems like it's up in the air. So, I mean, it should be a good game. I, I, don't, I don't foresee anybody sort of blowing anybody out in this no, game. I, I don't think there's really a runaway favorite. Maybe you can favor the Jacks because they're home, but after what we saw last weekend, the defense will have to step it up. Yeah. Well, okay, tomorrow, 1 p.m. is the start. Uh, in the meantime, there's soccer going on. The tournament starts tonight. SSU takes the field in about an hour and 10 minutes over at Fishback, and there's volleyball, of course, too. So it's a pretty uh, pretty busy weekend athletically. Uh, so it should be interesting. It should be. Uh, all right, I'm Drew Ahman, Marcus Traxler, and we'll be live vlogging tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. We'll have post-game video for you, too. All right, have a good one.